Hey guys, Deal Games here, and welcome back to another episode on the Deals Gap OP Prison Server. And today we're going to be doing some more mining and talking, which I know you guys probably aren't all that fond of because I understand it is fairly boring to watch. But I have something that I really want to talk about today, so I'm going to be doing that. And um, there's something else I wanted to say. Oh yeah, next episode uh, we'll be doing some PvP or building or something else that's more fun because I know you guys probably do not enjoy this whole mining and talking thing even though it does really allow me to focus my thoughts and tell you guys what I need to tell you. But uh, yeah, we'll do some other stuff, don't worry. And we've been getting some weird lag on the server today as far as items go, I'm not sure what's causing that. I think we just need a prison restart because the server has an uptime right now of like four days or something like that, uh, which is good. It means we're not crashing or anything, but I think the RAM is uh, just slowly being eaten, even though uh, it's got like 20 gigs something crazy like that. Uh, I think it's just being eaten by the server over time. So that's why you'll see as soon as I break a block, the items come out, but then it takes me forever to pick them up, which is really odd. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll restart the prison server later, but I don't really want to do that now with all these people online. So that's why I haven't done it already. Anyway, the topic of discussion for today is going to be a somewhat recent change to Mo Yang's privacy policy regarding, or not privacy policy, EULA, regarding Minecraft. If you're not aware, EULA is short for End User License Agreement. It's that that thing that you uh, you always check when you're, say, uh, downloading software or installing freeware or signing up for a service or whatever. That's what you're agreeing to, the End User License Agreement. And Mo Yang, apparently a year ago, added a clause to their EULA that says you are technically not allowed to earn money by selling uh, features on a server or by selling plugins or server add-ons or anything like that. Um, so just to clarify, that doesn't mean you can't earn money by hosting servers put for people, but you can't earn money by uh, doing like like what I'm doing with this server. And I don't understand it. I really don't because there's a market there and people are willing to pay for this stuff. And there are people who make really successful businesses off it and enjoy what they're doing. And there are people who are willing to pay for those products. Like, um, you all probably know Woody's Gamertag. He used to be a fairly COD-centric channel. Uh, now he does a lot of Minecraft stuff. Well, not really a lot, but uh, he owns the, the Woodycraft server. You may or may not have played on there. It's a fairly popular minigame server with around 2,000 players on it at any one time. Let's see. Uh... But he, he's made Minecraft into a big business. His server is probably one of the, the best optimized servers um, as far as making money goes and providing a really good experience to the users. Uh, so that's what he does. He does Minecraft servers professionally. Um, he has really good high-quality hardware for his servers, like the, the physical server boxes that you'd see in data centers. He builds his own servers and has them uh, put in the data center for his use instead of instead of renting them like a lot of uh, servers do, me, myself included. And he's turned that into a very successful business for himself. Like that's his, his only source of income right now he is the Minecraft server because he just does such a good job with it and he's able to monetize it very well by providing a really good product. And Mo Yang suddenly has decided that they want to start, uh, they want to start enforcing these, oops, I'm trying to use slash throw. Dang it. Come on, Reed, step through the game. They've suddenly decided that they want to enforce all these rules regarding not being able to make money with servers or sell your Minecraft related software, which is kind of ridiculous because Mo Yang isn't even competing with those people. Mo Yang is earning more money because of those people. Because a huge part of why people play this game are the minigame servers like Mindplex, Nexus, The Hive, Shopbow. Woodycraft, all those big servers that you've heard of, those servers aren't just uh, for, like, they aren't just made for, for people to have fun on, they're made for the owners to make money and to have a legitimate career with uh, with their servers. And that's not possible if Mo Yang has suddenly decided that they want to enforce the rules, let's see, do I have brightness all the way up? Yes, I do. Um, where you can't earn money by selling your virtual goods on servers. And 
what this will do if they decide to actually go through with this and start enforcing these rules on people with legal suits and whatever else they they want to do is they'll they'll lose sales on Minecraft because a huge part of why people play this game now is the mini game servers because uh, they're fun and they're easy to do and there's not that big of a learning curve with them but as soon as they start enforcing these rules on big servers they'll miss out on all those sales of people who want to play these mini games um, they'll lose a big part of the uh, the factions and prison and all those servers because people like to spend money to earn extra features on those and if they can't and the experience is completely equal then to be honest they're, they're gonna lose a lot of traffic from that as well um, and Mojang isn't competing with those people it's not like Mojang is trying to create their own servers to sell their own products no they're not they're they they make the game and they make the server software and uh, and that's it that's all they do so why are they suddenly deciding that they want to to push people out I have no idea it doesn't make any sense to me because servers like say um, Mindplex would just cease to exist Mindplex is the most popular server like it's actually the most popular server with a player base of around 20,000 at any one time or at, at peak times rather so 20,000 people uh, that play on that server which is a I'm, I would assume it's a profit making server I can't imagine a server like that not making any profit because of course they do offer ranks for people who who buy uh, who pay for stuff Let's see. There we go. so uh, I would assume that makes a lot of money for Captain Sparkles and the other owners of that server, and that's why it exists. Uh, because they need money not only to be able to create the server and just make sure it's running well, but they have to pay all the staff, they have to pay their developers, they have to pay their builders, they have to pay their web developers who are working on the website, uh, and they have to pay any other fees that come along with a server that large, of which I assume there are many, because that's just such a giant server. So... Servers like that, that are just huge, and make a lot of profit because they're so huge, would just be gone. Like, overnight, they would cease to exist. Because the money wouldn't be there, not only to make a profit, but to do things like paying all the developers and the staff. So, it's kind of ridiculous that, to me that Mojang has suddenly decided that they want to do this. It's really, really strange. Um... And what they've done uh, to try to, I don't know, probably to try to win some of these legal suits that they may or may not be engaging in, I don't know, is they uh, they put that clause in the EULA and didn't tell anybody until about a year later so that they could gain an advantage in court uh, when, when trying to, to win these cases. So, you know, a lot of people aren't going to be reading through these long 30-page EULAs just because, uh, I don't know if Minecraft is 30 pages, that number just came just came into my head. But it probably very well could be. You know, a lot of people aren't going to be reading these EULAs because they assume what they're doing is fine, as they should. Because the sale of goods on the server isn't hurting Mojang at all. In fact, it's uh, probably increasing sales for Minecraft. And Mojang should not be worrying about this at all. They should be in support of these pay-to-play and pay-to-win servers or pay for perk servers that are doing this sort of stuff because all it does for them is drive sales up and earns them more money for sales of the game Let's see uh, I had another point that I wanted to make what was it um, hmm. shoot I had something else to say uh, crap lost my train of thought oh well I'll move on to the next thing um, so if this goes through and they really start to uh, do legal stuff against all these servers that have uh, pay for perks stuff. So PHTF. Then a ton of those servers are going to be gone, mine included. Why? Because I aim to earn a profit from the server. I'm open about telling you guys that. That's uh, a part of the goal of this server is to earn some profit for myself so that I can afford new equipment and save for college, save for a car, do all that sort of stuff. So that's part of why I run the server. And I really appreciate you guys understanding that. The response to my video on money was was really cool. I 
I appreciate that so much, guys. You, you're you awesome. All of you who are subscribed, you're awesome. Because that video had a really good like ratio. But anyway, getting off on a tangent. Uh, my server would cease to exist because I have I have paid staff members. And those admins deserve to be paid because they do a good job. Uh, they're working really hard to make sure the, the players are happy. And they deserve to get paid for it. And if they suddenly stop getting paid because I actually didn't make the money anymore to pay them, then a lot of those admins probably wouldn't be doing as good a job or they'd simply resign because they don't want to waste their time on a job where they're not earning any money. And that would be like, I don't know, a plumber coming over and just wanting to do work on your house or on your plumbing just because they can. No, it doesn't work like that. They want to earn money, they work hard, and they want to make a profit from it so that they can buy stuff, pay bills, do all that. Now, this analogy is really terrible, but that's basically what it is. They're doing work. They deserve to get paid. They do a good job. They help all the customers. They interface with all of you guys and make sure everybody's happy and everything is good. Um, they make sure we're not getting any lag spikes or anything like that. Um, and of course, we have our developer, Nate. You guys probably see on a lot who's working on Ultra Hardcore right now. Making sure that's bungee cord compatible and ready to go fairly soon. That'll be pushed out within, I'd say, a month. Um, I gotta pay all those guys. And if I can't, then the model doesn't work and the server ceases to exist. Because I, if I'm just breaking even on this server, just providing it essentially for free, then what's the point for me? And what's the point for everybody else who invests their time into this server to make it what it is? That's the main reason why I think this policy that Mojang is trying to push is so ridiculous. And Oh yeah, I remember what I wanted to tell you guys a few minutes ago. Um, basically, crap, did I forget it again? Really? Shoot, give me a sec to think. I can figure this out. Uh, what was it? Gosh, I can't believe I'm forgetting this. Um, give me a sec. I'm gonna cut the recording while I think, because this is this is really important. Okay, so I remember what I wanted to say. Um, basically, a while back, Mo Yang took a poll on this concept or on this idea to not allow people to earn money from servers, and there was a the vast majority said it was fine for people to to make money from servers. Because that just makes for better servers. It's, uh, what they're trying to push is almost like communism. And it's really, really weird. But the vast majority of people agreed that it was better to allow people to earn money from servers. And Mo Yang decided that they were just going to push this policy anyway. Because they can. And because they're suddenly turning really weird. But, yeah. Uh, it's it's odd to me. You guys can let me know what you think of this in the comments. Uh, I'm going to link the article that uh, has this information in it. So you guys can check that out and read it for yourselves. Um, and they have a quote from Rob, a.k.a. Old Man Willikers, who a lot of you probably know. He's a developer on the Play Minecraft server. But um, it's ridiculous. And it has to be stopped. Otherwise, all these good servers that we play all the time... You, me, everybody, the people, a lot of people who are buying the game, they want to play it for those servers will no longer be able to play because they won't exist anymore. Uh, it's, it's bad. And I always thought Mojang were fairly good about doing stuff like uh, their EULAs and their privacy management and all that sort of stuff. Um, like Notch even allows people to, or at one point was allowing people to pirate the game because he didn't, didn't really care. Um, and the, another weird thing to mention is that Mo Yang has made obscene amounts of money from this game. Not only would, is this policy that they're pushing not going to result in more sales, it's going to result in less. They're not losing any profits because of these paid for servers. And they've made, I think it's like a billion dollars off this game. Something like that. Tons of money from the actual game on multiple platforms. On Xbox and... PlayStation, PC, mobile, they've made huge amounts of money, and now they're trying to do this. 
I don't know why. But this is really all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I hope you enjoyed it. You can let me know what you think in the comments. Link to that article in the description. Until next time, I'll be seeing you guys later. Deal Games, signing out.